Caitlin, if someone told me four years ago that I'd be marrying the love of my life today and living in New York City, I would have called them crazy. I never dreamed that I would find someone who challenged me to see the world in the way that you do. A woman who makes me laugh and love. A woman who, even after four years, still gives me butterflies when she walks through the door. I didn't believe that I could find a woman who would remind me every day to dream bigger, to work harder, to open my heart to the possibilities of this beautiful life. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Love, William. I couldn't imagine anyone else at the end of the aisle today. You are my soulmate, my partner in takeout eating and lazy afternoon movie watching, and the only person who can make me smile when I'm mad or sad. I'm so excited to spend our lives together, and I couldn't picture taking this journey of life without you. Your qualities of always having fun, taking care of those around you, your stubbornness, and your love for me are things that will make you a wonderful man, a great husband, and an amazing future father. I can't wait to watch you raise our family and be able to share all of the joys and challenges that come with that. I love you more than anything. Let's do this. Love, Caitlin. Hey. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. I love the this dress. Is what you expected? Of course, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. We get so many kisses today. So I know. Lucky. We should get married every weekend. <laughs> We chose St. Augustine because we love it here. It's beautiful. We love that it's a walkable town. People could have a fun weekend and a getaway where they could go to the beach, do some historical things, and then go to the restaurants and bars that we've been going to together for a few years now. My parents live here. All of that combined in one. Couldn't ask for a better place. What a perfect throw. We have a rope for you to wear while you get your hair done. William, I'm extremely proud of the man that you have become. I would like to present you with this Scottish Dirk, which I had made by a master bladesmith. I hope you will wear it proudly in honor of your Scottish heritage. <laughs> Caitlin, we love you very much, and all I can say is William must have a lot of Irish in him to be so lucky to have found you. <laughs> Join me in a toast to William and Caitlin. As most of us realize, we're progressing through the decades of our lives. It's not the things that are important, but rather those that are close to us. You look good. <laughs> Caitlin, your mom and dad are immensely proud of you, and we love you so very much. From the early school days of new lunch boxes on the first day of school, to graduating from UGA's Leonard Business School, yours has been a great story to follow to your love and happiness forever. Love you both, mom and dad. My wife said to me, but look at my hair now. And I'm not that was attraction. Love goes deeper than that. Love continues to grow as you marry. I, William, take you, Caitlin. I, Caitlin, take you, William. To be my wife. Be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. to love.
You're very exceptionary. No dictionary can define what's genuinely indescribable. Baby. When I hang out with Caitlin and Slayton, it's welcome arms and it's awesome. And I wish the best, amazing memories, lifetime of happiness to the beautiful couple. To Will, the brother I always wanted and the son my dad has needed. <laughs> I love you, Caitlin and Will, and I can't wait to win the bet. Just having everyone here together in one place, both sides of the family meeting each other for the first time, it really means a lot to us. Bar is open. Your memory, exceptional. No dictionary can define what's genuinely indescribable, very exceptionary. No ordinary phrase can capture you. No, some might say that you're tremendous. You so magnificent, so magnanimous, you. listens to me, he adores me, he really will do anything for me. He's been there through some hard times and we know we're gonna make it, we know we're gonna be together forever through everything. And I love him. <laughs>